Hi, I'm Greg Allen, the Chief of Strategy and Communications for the Department of Defense's Joint Artificial Intelligence Center. This video will explain the different types of AI technology and how they work, so that you are better equipped to make decisions about AI for your own organization. Though AI sounds futuristic, some types of AI have been in widespread use for decades, including by the US military. Early AI systems, and most of today's operational AI systems, typically use the handcrafted knowledge approach, which utilizes traditional software to codify the subject matter knowledge of human experts into a long series of programmed rules that can be understood and executed by computers. You're probably familiar with tax preparation software. This example of the handcrafted knowledge approach requires users to input their tax information according to a specific data format. The computer processes this formatted data using software that is created in cooperation between engineers and expert accountants. These human program rules for how to automatically process tax data represent the knowledge of the handcrafted knowledge AI system. If the rules are well written, the AI-produced tax filings can be good enough to submit to the IRS, just as tens of millions of Americans do each year. Handcrafted knowledge AI systems aren't just useful for preparing taxes, though. Aircraft autopilots, missile guidance systems, and electromagnetic signal processing systems are just a few of the thousands of high-performing, extremely reliable handcrafted knowledge AI systems that the U.S. military and its partners have developed and operated over the past eight decades. In each case, the knowledge of the handcrafted knowledge AI system is a series of rules created in cooperation between human software engineers and human subject matter experts. So, if handcrafted knowledge AI has been around for a long time, then what's new in AI? Most of the breakthroughs and excitement in AI over the past decade have focused on the subfield of machine learning. In machine learning systems, the knowledge is not a series of rules programmed by humans. Rather, machine learning systems learn the rules by using training algorithms to analyze data and produce an AI model. Whether the data is in the form of pictures, sound recordings, words and numbers, or something else, Training algorithms allow machines to learn from data and come up with their own data processing rules. Even though it's the algorithm that writes the computer code in the learned AI model, humans are still critical in guiding the learning process. Humans curate data, set learning parameters, troubleshoot problems, and choose the algorithms that will ultimately process the data. Over the past 10 years, the performance and ease of using machine learning systems has increased dramatically. For many uses, such as image recognition and language translation, machine learning AI systems now have vastly superior performance over alternative technologies, and sometimes even over human beings. Improvements in machine learning have made advanced AI practical and powerful for a far more diverse set of applications than ever before. This is by no means to say that handcrafted knowledge AI systems are obsolete. For many applications, they remain the best choice. Now that it's clearer how machine learning is different from other types of AI, let's focus on the three different families of machine learning algorithms. Knowing which family an AI system uses will help you understand how it works, what it's good at, and what might cause it to break. The three different families of machine learning algorithms are supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning uses training data that has been pre-labeled by human supervisors so that each data input is paired with its correct associated output. For example, if the goal of the AI system is to correctly classify the objects in different images as cat or dog, the labeled training data would have image examples paired with the correct classification labels. This labeling process can be pretty tedious with humans clicking on thousands of pictures of cats or dogs in order to label each image. Unsupervised learning algorithms are those that can extract features from the data without the need for a label. So, in our cat-dog picture example, the AI model produced by an unsupervised algorithm 
would not return that a specific input image was of a cat or a dog. Rather, the model would sort the dataset into groups based on their similarity. The groups that the unsupervised algorithm sorts might include the desired ones of cats and dogs, but images might instead be sorted into undesired categories, such as whether or not the image has a blue sky. Unsupervised learning systems are therefore often less predictable, but because unlabeled data is almost always more available than labeled data, they remain critical. Unsupervised learning and supervised learning algorithms each solve different types of problems. In the example of fraud detection, supervised learning can identify potential fraud that matches behaviors known to be unlawful or known to be associated with fraud. Unsupervised learning, by contrast, can find new, unidentified patterns of behavior that might indicate new fraud techniques. Reinforcement learning is a bit different from the other two types. In reinforcement learning, the training data is collected by an autonomous, self-directed AI agent that perceives, learns, and interacts with its environment, which might be the real world or might be a simulation. Three aspects of reinforcement learning are notably distinct from supervised and unsupervised learning. Let's see how using the example of an AI agent learning chess strategy. First, in the course of its interacting with the environment and perceiving changes, the AI agent gathers data. So the chess plane agent moves its pieces, perceives changes in the board based on these moves, and records both for use as training data. Second, the system is learning an action policy for taking actions to maximize its receipt of cumulative rewards. In this instance, that means learning how to play chess well in pursuit of the most number of checkmate wins. Third, the rewards are evaluative feedback data received by the agent when certain criteria are satisfied, such as a checkmate win or loss. We call this evaluative feedback because it tells the system how well it did rather than instructive feedback on what it should have done. Knowing the different families of machine learning algorithms, their strengths as well as their weaknesses, is fundamental to making wise decisions about developing and using AI systems. Supervised learning systems can deliver incredible performance, but acquiring sufficient quantities of labeled data may be a challenge. Unsupervised learning systems don't require labeled data, but their performance in some instances may be more limited than supervised systems. Reinforcement learning systems can generate their own data, but can generally only be used for applications that offer access to simulators, which closely resemble the operational environment. The biggest challenges to developing machine learning AI systems usually relate to getting sufficient, high-quality training data. AI performance is directly tied to data quantity, quality, and representativeness. For example, an AI-enabled satellite imagery classifier trained to recognize military vehicles by exclusively using training images in a desert environment will have degraded performance if the operational images are of the same vehicles in a grassland, urban, or arctic tundra environment. Developers need training data that closely resembles the full diversity and complexity of the real-world operational environment. That's why, whenever the Joint AI Center pursues a specific AI application, our developers and program managers are focused on data every step of the way. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to read a more in-depth guide to understanding AI technology, or to learn more about the amazing technology being developed and fielded by the Joint AI Center, check out our website, ai.mil.